I'm Tan Tan, and I love the Rust programming language. So we gotta talk about why. Why we gotta think about? I have used Rust for one whole year, and that is cause for celebration. But we're gonna talk about why I have kept using this programming language for a whole year. Here in the background, you can see all of the projects I made with Rust. It's quite a lot for a year. Before we take a look on the actual language, and why I find it so enjoyable to work with, let's do a quick recap of the projects I built with Rust over this one year. Two weeks after learning Rust, I decided to release a playable web game with Rust. Dig Escape. It is, without a doubt, the most fun puzzle game I have ever done, I think. The thematic, the puzzles, it's a pretty cool game. I went on to make a little prototype of what it would be like to have a mouseless image editor. Didn't get to forward with that prototype, but it is a pretty cool prototype. I created a puppy bird with Bevy. Bevy, 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 boom! Oh, bevy, Bevy, Bevy. I created a game launcher. I remade Demon Attack from the Atari console. I dove deeper into graphics programming. I recreated Pong, but with cats. I made a game playable on a MIDI controller. And oh, I also made a game playable on my keyboard. It's fair to say I've done a lot of Rust programming and the limits to what you can do with Rust seems limitless. I am making so many weird projects, man. I have always loved creating things from scratch to use the programming language and the game framework. And I have realized that Rust is exactly what I wanted out of C++ with insert whatever game frameworks out there. Rust simply removes a lot of pain points that I had with other languages. Let's take a look on my favorite parts about Rust, starting with a simple yet incredibly powerful feature, the Rust enum. Every time I use any other programming language other than Rust, I always miss the Rust enum. It is so powerful. Let's look on some actual code. The enum data type in Rust is like any other language, a variant of something. But Rust enums, unlike most languages, can also hold data inside of the variants. Let's take a look on some use cases to see why this is so useful. Particle systems in video games usually has a lot of parameters. Let's take the emission shape for example. Maybe we want particles to spawn in a circle, or from a line, or from a single point. The shape is essentially one parameter, but the data for every variant is very different. This is how it could look like using a Rust enum. We have an emission shape enum, it can be a point, rect, or sphere variant. All of these variants holds different data, data that makes sense for that variant. The rect has a width and height, the circle has a radius. When creating a particle system with this, using just one line of code we can set the emission shape. Another example is the start size of an object. Maybe you always want the size to be the same of a particle system? Or maybe you want the size to be random between a range? Well, this is the perfect case for a Rust enum. Using just one line of code, we can do this thing that would probably look a lot different in many other programming languages. It's so clean! A large part about Rust is also open source. I have myself contributed two times. Uh, oh, that's... it's not a lot, but hey, it's honest work. Because the Rust community revolves a lot around open source, there are many communities that are ready to help out. Help me. For any library you find, you can probably find help a small group me. of people talking about the library and helping each other out. The Rust community is really strong. The library ecosystem in Rust is surprisingly wide for how young the language is. And when I say wide, I mean that any library I have ever needed, I have always been able to find. A library for handling the lights of my keyboard, MIDI controller inputs, web backends, game frameworks. A surprising amount of libraries is available. But a downside to this is that since this language is pretty young, not every library out there is as stable as you would want. Help me. Another thing I like about Rust is the compiler forces you to use the same naming convention. And I think that's a good thing, because any library I decide to use all have the same naming convention. I can't believe I haven't talked about the burrow shaker yet. This is the bread and butter of Rust. The burrow shaker is a compiler feature that checks when you compile your software that the code you've written is safe. Data races, use of their null, dangling pointers. These common memory errors are usually handled at runtime in other languages in the form of a crash. But with Rust, the compiler will yell at you if you have written potentially unsafe code. If your code compiles, that means it will probably run fine. So what's the catch with this borrow shaker? 
Well, here is a quote I found from a random person on the internet. The Borough Checker is your greatest friend disguised as a brutally honest tormentor. This is the most beautiful description of the Rust Borough Checker. It just... Mwah. When learning Rust, the compiler may seem very, very, very strict. Some things I was used to doing in other programming languages was simply harder to do in Rust. Well, I shouldn't say harder, because having used Rust for a year now, I've kind of become a good fan with the compiler. We have our fights now and then, but it has actually taught me some important lessons in writing better code. I mean, the compiler even tells you sometimes why your code is wrong, but also then sometimes it tells you how to fix it. There's another feature in Cargo called Clippy. It is a tool that analyzes your code and gives you tips on how to improve it. And this is so cool. Corgo also has a built-in formatting feature. This thing is awesome. It automatically formats your entire Rust project so that indentation and all of that is correct. Now, the biggest pain point I've had with other languages is package management. Rust uses these TOML files. Adding a library is as easy as writing the name of the library and then the version you want to use. Starting up new projects is super fast. Testing out different libraries, super fast. Sometimes when working with Rust, I have very pleasant realizations. A recent thing I've been thinking about is function arguments. From this function call, it is not clear exactly what to expect. What is this float? What is this bool? In a lot of Rust libraries, something like this is very common. Just looking at the function call, we have explicit information on the arguments. It's not a huge thing, but it is something you come across in a lot of Rust libraries, and I really like it. A lot of the times, it's very clear exactly what the function will do. Now, I mostly use Rust to make video games. And if you are looking for a Unity or Unreal experience, then you might be a few years early looking at Rust. There are many exciting game frameworks being developed, and I'm really excited to see what the future holds for game development in Rust. But at the moment, unless you're willing to dig deep sometimes, and settle for the fact that you will not have all of the features a game engine is able to provide, maybe Rust isn't a good fit at this moment. The programming language is definitely really solid, but just libraries surrounding game development? It is getting there, but it isn't quite there yet. I like making things from a lower level, and there are many Rust frameworks that are really well developed, so Rust works really well for me. I love the language, I feel productive in it, and the community is definitely a huge positive thing that is very important. One thing I feel is missing from the Rust community is more entertainment-focused videos. The demand for entertaining Rust videos, it may not be that big, but the amount of people doing it is... It's not a lot of people. So if you're looking for some potential, then uh, maybe... Maybe make some videos on Rust. I, I wanna see it. I wanna see more of that. Yeah. Cheers to one year for using Rust. That is some strong coffee, man. Rust is the language that I like A program is spoken to code that is so a fight Look at the ceiling though, it's my favorite type I miss it every time I use another language It is so delightful Nothing can match it's the best Except for the match statement The compiler is mean but really it's a friend Disguised as a brutal on the storm and go Rust, 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 rust Did you redo? He has a did you redo?